Alright, hello and welcome. This is going to be an update on how to set up your D and Rayleigh project on all three major platforms Linux, OS X and Windows. To follow this tutorial, you will need a decompiler, DAB package manager and Raylib graphics library already installed on your system. This video won't show you how to install them, but will just give general directions. Please refer to online tutorials and documentation. I will, however, provide all the necessary links to such sources in the video description. Let's begin. Firstly, we need to create a new dub project using dub init command. It will ask you a few things about your project, but you can skip this part and edit dub.json file instead. At this point, your project folder should contain a dub.json configuration file. It may be dub.sdl if you have chosen the sdl file format. Open that file. Secondly, we need to add the configurations subsection. I prefer to put it right below dependencies. Then using the curly braces, we add a new subsection containing platform specific information. By default, dub selects the configuration that matches the target type and the current platform automatically. Thus, we can support multiple platforms simultaneously. I will first create a configuration for OS X, then Linux, and lastly, Windows. Each configuration will follow the same pattern. Firstly, comes the configuration name. Secondly, the supported platforms. In this case, it is OS X. Thirdly, we need to add the target type. In this case, it is executable. Then we need to tell Dub what libraries it should link. In my case, it's only Raylib. If you have any other libraries, for instance, JLFW, put it here. Finally, we need to specify the linker flags. On Mac, you need to link the following frameworks. Just copy paste it into your file. That's it. Our project should compile now and run successfully. All right, let's create a new configuration for Linux. I'm going to copy and paste the above configuration and change its name and platform to Linux. I will also delete the L flags subsection as it is not needed here. Instead, we need to tell Dub to link against the following libraries. Put them into the libs subsection. These are Raylib dependencies. That's it, the configuration is done. Now we can compile our code both on Linux and Mac OS. I'm using Debian 10 in this example. Finally, let's create our last configuration for Windows. I'm going to copy and paste the above configuration again and modify the name and the platform, replacing it with Windows instead. The next step is to add Raylib library to libs subsection. Please note, instead of Raylib, it should be Raylib DLL. And the last thing to do is to download the Raylib binaries from the official Raylib GitHub repository. Just go to the releases and download the Microsoft Visual Studio version. Unzip the file and copy the Raylib DLL and the Raylib DLL.lib into your projects folder. All right, we're done. It should compile and run successfully. Here is the Raylib window. Now you can configure Raylib and D for all three platforms. I highly recommend you add all three configurations into your dub.json file. It will help newcomers and other people to easily compile and run your code without burdening them with reading the documentation and or scaring them away because of build errors. That's it for today. See you next time and happy coding!